Today, we're going to get very clear on the difference between scripted reality or scripted consciousness, unscripted reality, and spiritual reality or spiritual consciousness. Why is this important? Because naming it, being very present and conscious to the reality we live in, helps us to better understand ourselves. Also, being very aware of the differences in realities allows us to be very alert to the possibility that someone else doesn't share the same values inherent in our reality. It helps us to better navigate life. Welcome to the second episode of the Red Porcupine podcast. My name is Rochelle Stain. Here is the big picture model of the different meta categories of consciousness. You'll see it starts with a Mad Max reality. And if you remember the movie, they are in the desert. It's a predator and prey kind of reality where life is short and brutal. Scripted reality is when people choose to come together, either in small tribal settlements or villages. Zone one is, is that kind of walled settlement in, in Mad Max, where in order to come in, you need to agree on the rules and their specific laws. And if you, you have to fit in, and if you don't fit in, you get kicked out. So zone one is this tribal settlement or little village. Basically here, your identity is defined by the tribe. The second zone is when th that small village, that tribal village gets too small for you. You want to expand your reality. You move from the, from the small village into the city and you get an education and you get a better job and you become ambitious. You look around you, you want more money, you want more social status. And this is what motivates you here. You want to buy the things that other people buy. You notice the differences in social in social status. You notice the difference between your Toyota and the others, Mercedes-Benz or BMW. What is key in scripted reality? There's an external authority and they define what is right, what is wrong. What are the laws? What is good? What is bad? What is beautiful? What is ugly? Everything gets defined externally and you take on this external, these external uh, rules and laws and morality for, for your own. You basically fit into that. So scripted reality is also the domain of, of religion because religion has a specific framework. It defines this is what you need to believe and this is the rules you need to follow. In zone three, this is when you figure out how the system works. And normally your parents are in this zone three. So they know that if you go to a very specific school, this sets you up for life. Why is it called scripted reality? Doctor, lawyer, journalist, engineer, there's all these roles and they have a script. And in order to be this, you take the script and you run with it. So it's a scripted reality. This is the top of the pyramid. These people have played the game to get to the top and they are being rewarded with income, property, and most importantly, social status. They love game A. It serves them. It works for them. They belong in it and they want to maintain this status quo. In zone three, when you're at the top of the pyramid, you are tolerant of diversity, diverse opinions, progressive opinions, intellectually. If you're Jewish and your daughter wants to marry a Christian or Hindu, Muslim, then you have a problem with it. You're interested in the idea of it and you fascinated for it for other people. But when it comes to yourself or to your family, when it becomes a reality, you much more conservative. This is scripted reality. If the government tells you that you will get vaccinated, the government is authority and you get vaccinated. You get vaccinated to not be kicked out. In your consciousness, you want to be secure and you want to be comfortable and you, you want to belong. That's important. So in consensus reality, you are prepared to 
sacrifice your truth to belong. You are prepared to, to follow the rules, even if it means the need to twist yourself into some kind of pretzel in order to do it. Because security and comfort are the most important things for you. We get to unscripted reality because we have the perfect job. We have the perfect life. We have the perfect wife. We have fantastic kids who go to the best schools. And one day we wake up and we realize we're not happy. We've got everything and we're not happy. We realize that these rules are not our rules. We realize that just like in zone one, that staying in zone one was, was unhealthy for us and it didn't make us happy. So the same thing happens in zone three. Life is not meaningful and we're not living according to who we are. And so this is where unscripted reality comes in. So unscripted reality, and it's also called, there's this Jungian term individuated, it's also called differentiated. We want to be able to decide what is right and wrong for us. We want to determine the truth based on our experience. We become our own internal authority. We do not want to take the external authorities, rules and laws and norms and values and and adopt them. We want to create our own. So this is the start of unscripted reality. It's a process. And of course, it's your choice to kick back against your fear. That's free will. When your consciousness shifts, it happens to you. You don't choose to shift your consciousness. You choose to respond to a shift in consciousness that has already happened to you. And that is very important. When this person starts feeling constricted, being in a certain reality becomes an existential threat. You have to leave. If you don't, you become depressed. You become suicidal. When consciousness shifts as a result of illness, death, betrayal, loss, war, it happens to you. And then you have to figure out, how do I navigate life as a result? of the reality I am living in. Now, the gray zone, it's called the gray zone because there's a back and forth between the gray zone and zone three, the feeling of being marginalized, of being on the edges, because you're actually outside. Here, you have very, very different values. Here, are you living values. Women are equal to men. When you fall in love, you fall in love with a person. Difference in culture are not deal breakers. In unscripted reality, there is no script. And this is the very important point, because this is about finding your truth, finding your authenticity, your role in life. When you move forward into this red zone, you've got nowhere back. The red zone is basically you've cut all your links to the consensus reality. You're on your own. In this red zone, it's a prototyping zone. You experiment with everything. You experiment sexually. You experiment with different skills and talents and resources. You experiment with drugs. You experiment with spirituality. You experiment with the occult. And, and often you go places that, depending on your character and circumstance, you can get lost in the red zone. But here is the key thing. You're not looking for comfort and security. You are looking for truth. You are looking for authenticity. You are looking for freedom. Once you get into the red zone, there's no going back. And the reality is the only way out is through. This knowledge is important because there is the silver zone waiting for you. If you do the work of, of getting through the zone, in this red zone, it's a prototyping zone. You're trying on different identities as though they're kind of clothing, wearing them, realizing that that's not it. But in this process, you basically are finding pieces of your puzzle and you are building the puzzle. You're building your bigger picture and it is becoming more and more clear to you. There's a lot of hopelessness here. There, there's a lack of self-esteem. There's, you know, there's absolutely no 
social, you don't fit into society, you're not seen, your family might also have rejected you, or you might have left them, but no one sees you. It's, it's a very, very difficult and dangerous zone to navigate. But the key thing to know is that the only way out is through. You, you have to keep going. You have to keep picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and trying again. Um, if you're born into the red zone, remember you've got this trauma signature in your epigenetics which means you are more vulnerable to addiction. What is very important is the, the discipline that you need is not like in conscripted reality to follow the rules. In the red zone, you need to be very self-referral. You need to remember that it's about being discerning in order to keep build your immunity, keep your immunity healthy so that you can live another day to fight another battle, to find your truth, do work that makes you feel alive. I believe that the live players are born into the silver zone. So Elon Musk from a very young age was playing with rockets and building cars that were different and thinking about going to Mars and and thinking about consciousness, you know, he was a very deep thinker, thinking about society's future. What is the truth? This is the silver. This is the takeoff zone. This is where the pieces of the puzzle come together. You can navigate the truth just through the feeling in your body, that feeling of aliveness. This is the truth. This is where I need to go. You find form and you birth it. You bring it into the world. There are three basic ideological channels. It's the social channel, and this is where you become an activist, a journalist, the creative, you become an artist, in the spiritual, an astrologer. Now, just because you have a spiritual practice doesn't mean you live in a spiritual reality. And this is very important. You will find that people in the spiritual channel, in unscripted reality, by the time they get to the silver zone, they are already showing spiritual gifts and talents. But in this reality, the, the laws that we know are, are very, very different. This reality is different. This consciousness is different. You know, when you are born into a spiritual reality, as a young child, it is very obvious your spiritual leaning, need, alignment. At a very young age, it's evident that you have spiritual gifts and talents. You gravitate towards communities in which you can serve. So the Red Porcupine podcast is really focused on this unscripted reality. It's really this zone, this unscripted reality that is misunderstood. It's, it's not supported. And the knowledge that is available doesn't serve this consciousness. I hope you learned a lot from that. I hope you resonated with it. Share it with people so that we can learn about the different values inherent in these different consciousness, these different meta, meta categories of consciousness, so we can understand diversity, so we can be more tolerant of the diversity and the different values that there are in the world, so that we can all thrive. <laughs>